Hello lovelies, this is Maya. I'm recording out of the UK. This is my channel Maya's Magic, um, where I talk about garden, my dogs. Sorry the Pippin. Wait, I need to pause you. I'm sorry. Sorry what you heard there was I'm just in the process of making yogurt. Um, what do I use for my yogurt? I use Jersey whole milk um, or whole milk from goat and I always use fresh farm goats yogurt for the starter. I have tried the what do you call it the freeze-dry powdered starters however it doesn't come out as nice or sometimes it doesn't work at all and I don't know why so where was I apart from that <laughs> that beeping of my instant pot yogurt maker um Yes, I know where I was. I was introducing myself. Sorry, so I talk about my dogs, the household, knitting, just me talking about things that are happening. Um, I do tutorials on crochet, mainly crochet and knitting. I spin on spinning wheel as in yarn spinning. I haven't done that for a little while, but I still do that. And I also spin yarn on a spindle. And I haven't done any videos on that. And of course, some of my most favorite videos uh, from watchers' favorite videos are my hair styles and the DIY for that as well. And my other hobbies are, especially now around the Christmas time, as you have noticed, making candles. And I also do... Uh, soaping as in I make soaps and as you saw I think it was the last video or was it the video before I cannot remember um, that I put down the new the soaps that I still have and it's always Ayurvedic organic um, free from any kind of um, preservatives and always fair trade ingredients so the highest quality i can get and there'll be exciting news coming up in the new year i they will be also available but not made by me a actually that's already available in uk and the us but i haven't got it here to show off um are some is a shampoo leave-in conditioner and serum set especially put together for people that suffer from severe hair loss so that's enough on that i won't be showing you that until i have it in my hands but i can i will put a link down the bottom and i have put a link in the former video that mentions ayurvedic soaps um, please go to those. I still have some left over. I just wanted to show you those before I get on to the other talking. So then I'm done with that. I, now, excuse this, what I'm going to show you, because this is my personal one that I have been using for. Um, is it now? Yeah, it's over a year now. This is my soap for the hair wash bar. And this is what I use for my hair. And the description of this is in the former video. Please go to that as well to watch that. So this is what it looks like after a year. This is a 75 gram or was a 75 gram soap, which was about this much. So it lasts a really, really long time. I have decided I won't make them any bigger unless you specifically ask for it because these keep um, two years, three years maximum. So I don't want you wasting your money and having to throw it away because 100 grams, unless you wash your hair a lot or if you, the whole family uses it, will 
not be used up that quick. As I say, this has been used for over a year. So, so you get an idea, and it was about that big and a little bit thicker. In fact, you see where that little bit of soap is there is about that thick, so not that much. Right, so that was the hair wash bar, the Amla Shikakai um, hair wash bar. And now I wanted to show you the new edition with the clay. I've pre-packaged one just so that you can see. I do it in paper, um, in a like a parchment paper, so that it gets protected and it's recyclable. I don't like using non-recyclable stuff and I try to avoid it where I can and I still try to make it look as pretty as possible. So here it is. This is used with clay. Descriptions again in the next. So oh, here we go. That's also a 75 gram. So let me just show you the difference. Okay. And the thickness. Oopsie, let me get it straight. There. So that's, <laughs> so you see, <laughs> this lasts a really long time. Even though it seems like it's small, it isn't, it really lasts super long. And so here we go. I'll just, oops, I missed the camera. You see, it's handcrafted. You can see. There you go. And these are all bits that are really good for your hair and skin. And this is especially for detoxing the skin. If you have problems with your with your scalp, this one is also super good. Has other properties than the other. Go back to the video, the former video about that. Um, so I have still some of those left. Please email me on mayasmagic at gmail.com if you are interested. Um, and let me just roll into the next subject from here on in. I have not put them on eBay um, as I normally do because I haven't got a huge amount of these left. And also, I am closing my eBay shop now from today. Closing it for the months from December until most probably mid-May. Why? Because I'm making stuff. And um, if anyone orders now, it norm it, in my experience, it doesn't really arrive in time for Christmas. Um, so it's just a whole host of problems that I try to avoid. And also because of the fraudsters coming out now from, for, from tomorrow on. You no, know, people do a lot of fraud on eBay especially around the Christmas time and then people claim that they've lost the product um, or it hasn't arrived and you know the problems and it just ends up to be a can of worms that I can frankly do without. So those were the two soaps, um, hair wash soaps, right? Now I wanted to show you the herbal hair wash powder Okay, and this is 50 grams, and this one is, as I said, the herbal hair wash powder, and it has loads of ingredients in. Once again, I put that in the former video, and then we have a package that looks similar to that, and that is the organic Mendy powder, so the hair wash and the, the Mendy powder. Um, if you combine those as a mask, it's a two-in-one wash and conditioner. Okay, there are special ingredients in here that you don't get in any other combinations. And this will last you quite a while as well. For one hair wash, for my length of hair, as you, can, as you know, it's fairly long. It's 39 inches now, 39, 40 inches. Um, that will last you 
at least 15, 15 hair washes. Excuse me for one second. I need to check the yoke. At least 15 washes. I think I can even get more than that out of there. I haven't exactly measured, but it lasts also quite a long while. So I just wanted to show you the little, that one is actually um, not made by me, but it has been put together. Um, how do I say this? It's been custom put together as I wanted it by the Neve company. Okay, and these are also organic. So they will come in packages like these as I have requested. Okay, I've requested for cardboard and for small packages. If you want both and you live in um, in the US, if you want to save on shipping, I can put them in both into one box um, if you request it. So once again, um, I'll because they will fit. They'll just about fit into into here. Yeah, both will just about fit into here if I try hard. So this is all just plain cardboard, and then it did need a little bit of seal, so there will be um, some plastic wrapping on the outside. But I've kept it minimal, and it's compostable. So you can throw this in the compost. Um, apart from the plastic bag inside, you can't throw that on the compost. So, um, so much to the soaps, because I didn't show you the packages and the clay soap. Um, I didn't show you that in the last video. So now you've seen that and you've seen the difference between the colours of the clay soap and the sh Amla Shikakai soap and you've seen the difference in thickness and size. They're both 75 were, well, the one is still 75 grams, the, the clay one and the other one is the one that I've been using is my personal one. <sighs> Take a breath, Maya, and relax. <laughs> so, Next subject actually was, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the festive holidays and, well, festive holidays as being Christmas. Um, now, what went through my mind is that I don't know a lot about my viewers or I, there are a lot, some viewers that do Vlogmas. I'm not going to be doing Vlogmas. I just have not got the time for that. But I am interested in what you do. What sort of things do you do? And what kind of preparations do you do? Well, I'll just tell you a little bit about my preparations. Pardon me. I've got the hiccups now. So what we do, my husband and I, is we get a list together. It's hanging on the fridge. I was just thinking about. Now I'll get it. Um, what we do is normally already in October, we start planning on what we're going to be having for our meals. We plan our meals, so we have um, three days that we celebrate with special meals, and that is the the European Christmas, as in where the Europeans do their Christmas presents, if they have kids anyway, which is the 24th, so Christmas Eve. And then the English Christmas, which is the 25th of December. And then obviously New Year. So what we do is we always plan out what we're going to have for our meal. And, well, ours this year is going off the traditional a little bit. And so let me just tell you what we're going to be having just so that you get a sort of an idea. And it's not detailed, it's just a general idea. Like on the 24th, we're going to be having a 70s favourite, the prawn cocktail. Then as main, we're going to have wild-caught sockeye salmon 
with like a cucumber salad and asparagus. And then for dessert or after the main meal, we'll have some cheese with walnuts and maybe some some cake. I haven't decided yet because if I make cake, it's going to be a, a keto cake, which means high fat, low carb and uh, and well, protein, medium protein. So I've got to make those, obviously, because no sugars, nothing in there that can't use flowers, can't use things like that. So I've got to bake it. And I was thinking maybe I'll make some madlenas, which are, but madlenas normally come like in like oval shapes and they're only that thick. But I'm thinking of doing them as mini cupcakes. So maybe I'll have a few of those. I try to restrict the sweet stuff, even if it's not um, really sweet and, and made the keto way. Um, because it does trigger sometimes things. But Christmas is a time for us and the family where we don't necessarily celebrate with Christmas tree and presents and all of that. But what we do, do is we sit together, we have nice meal, we make a nice ambiance, we have, uh, we cook together and we just relax and, you know, do the thing, put away the telephones, you know, the mobile phones, only check the emails and the internet maybe once a day and then just relax into the day and use that time from actually sort of mm, the 20th right down to New Year or at least to the to the 28th of December just for relaxing. New Year's just going to be a special meal. We're not going to have downtime per se because our work will start again already on the last day of December where we are again full on where we'll be doing stuff um, <clears throat> but maybe not a full eight hour day of work we might be doing a five or six hour so so that's the 24th anyway and I'll come back I'll be discussing the meals and I'll come back to other things that we do 25th, for example, we're going to have as a starter, I'm, I'm going to make this year a, a Waldorf salad. And as a main meal, we're not doing turkey um, this year. We're going for roast duck with, um, I think you call it pickled cabbage here, and spinach and Yorkshire puddings. I'm not having those. My husband's going to have those. Parsnips and maybe a few other um vegetables i haven't made a decision on and then as a dessert we're going to have trifle keto trifle which involves making the sponge which involves making your own jelly um not buying shop bought or packaged jelly which will involve making the custard egg custard basically um so that one's in control of what starches and things go in there. I'm thinking of making a bit of a brandy custard and then putting in berries, uh, whipping the own cream, not using any other stuff. So you get the idea. So it's a, it is a bit more involved than buying something off the shelf. And then New Year, I've just seen that I've... <laughs> This is very clever. I wrote down starter, starter. Well, no idea. We haven't thought about it then, obviously. And then we're just going to have, as a main, we're going to have this time steak with filled mushrooms. What the filling is going to be, I'm not sure. Maybe a herb filling. Maybe a cheese and herb filling. I haven't decided yet. And then as the dessert, just a cheese board. 
Um, so that's the sort of preparation we do and do for our meal planning. On to the meal planning, what we do do is also pre-order, like the duck that I've just mentioned, James likes to have on the on Christmas Day, he likes to have a pork pie and a slice of ham. That was tradition in his family, and he will keep that by. So we've ordered the pork pie and the ham, and of course the duck we ordered from our organic um, farm shop. They're traditional breeds, traditional to UK, uh, grass-fed, so a very good quality. I would say the best quality one can get, actually. And we've pre-ordered that already in... I actually pre-ordered that in September. Um, you have to start ordering early for these things. You can choose your bird, whatever bird or meat. You, you, you choose what weight you want it to be, how big you want it to be. Um, so I pre-ordered that and we have to go pick that up on the 23rd, which is just in time then for the 25th because you want to get then maybe some vegetables on the same day, all of that fresh, fresh, fresh um, so that you can do your meal. So that's the sort of preparations we go to for our meals. And I'm sure you at home do something similar. Um, and this has nothing to do whether you're Christian or Hindi or Pakistani or whatever. They have Diwali, obviously, and they do their own preparations. But you, you have to have a sort of plan. I'm sure you don't have the same every year, exactly the same. Or if you do, that doesn't matter either. So this year, we're not going to have anyone coming around for Christmas. <clears throat> As in the family have made, the kids have made their own decisions where they want to be. So that's fine with us. So no... Um, last year I spent Christmas on my own because I was here and James was in Spain. So, um, so every year is a bit different for us. And so last year I decided I'm not going to do Christmas trees anymore. So I got rid of the Christmas tree. We're just doing Christmas decorations. And when I say Christmas decorations, they're not going to be really Christian decorations. They're going to be, you know, like candles, as I've just described. And you saw me make the candles. I put that video up how I made four. And they're going, and I made also, I think I posted that last year, some beeswax candles in the jar. And um, I haven't rolled any beeswax candles this year yet, but maybe I'm still going to do that. So. That involves then, and I'm going to have a lot of tea lights as well and like little smoky men. I'll just show you an example of this, what I call smoky men. These smoky men are a tradition that come from my family and these have been partially handed down, partially bought new. And normally the tradition is we get one maybe every two years, they they're all handcrafted, and I must say they are fairly expensive, depending on the size one gets and what kind one gets. But I'm just going to show you one as an example. Okay, and here we go. See, this one is the mulled wine one. Okay, and it's only a small one, and I have some bigger ones and some smaller ones and different styles as well. And in these... You see, you take the bottom off and then you put little smoke cones in. Um, and this one is actually the scent of mulled wine. And you light those and you put those in here. Um, once you've lit them, you put that back on and the scent comes out the top of the hat. So I have, I think, about 
Do I have five or so? Might, might be, I can't remember. Different ones and different sizes and shapes. I will, I don't know if I showed you in last year's video, I showed you a few of the others, if you look closely. And I've also got, um, I don't know what you call it in, in, in English, one of those candle pyramids that goes round and round. Um, I do have that on the on the last year's video where I made, made a super short video showing how that works, goes round and round. Um, so, yeah, that's the sort of decorations that we put up, you know, just to make the house smell Christmassy, to make uh, ambience with lots of candles. That's what we do. And then... You know, when we have our meals, we lay down nice, luxurious tablecloths and we bring out, you know, like the silver and we bring out the nice plates. And sometimes, depends on how we feel, we get dressed up in nice clothes. We don't have to if we don't feel like it, but maybe we'll do that. You know, and just... And, and just enjoy ourselves, basically. Um, talking of back to sweets and Christmas treats, we, well, we don't have a lot of chocolate. And I wanted to show you that this year, goodness me, I'm sorry, make up again. This year, I'll just get, we made a keto marzipan. Excuse the noise. And I see my husband likes them so much. This was the first go. And I know they're not equal and they don't look super pretty. But I'll show you just one. This is a coconut, one rolled in coconut. Oh, why is the light not, why is the light so weird? Is that better? No. But anyway, it's marzipan rolled in coconut. He likes those. He's got a really sweet tooth. Um, and I made for myself marzipan rolled in cocoa and uh, that looks like that okay they're not very uniform and why I made a mistake when I was um, I didn't powder the almond flour for the marzipan I didn't powder it fine enough um, so they kept falling apart a bit. It needs to be ground very fine. And also the sweetener that you use, either it being stevia or erythritol or anything like that, needs to be really fine so that it sticks together. So this year we decided to do marzipan balls. I can't show you the Christmas cake I made for James. He's already eaten it. <laughs> I made him a cake, a fruit cake, because he loves Dundee and he loves, um, what's it called? Yeah, generally a Christmas fruit cake. And I made him a fairly rich Christmas fruit cake. And, well, I made that a week, and, week ago. Yes, a week ago. And we have had guests since, it, <laughs> and so it's been eaten. So I can't show you that, and I didn't make a photo of it. But a fruit cake, anyway, not a super rich one. It's sort of in when I say not a very dense one. It was made with uh, like a a pound. I think the Americans you call it pound cakes, so a half and half uh, flour, butter. You know, same sort of equal parts and with some really rich fruits in it. That's the way I did it. So that it's not too, not like a Christmas pudding style. So that's what I did. That's gone up. Uh, that's That's been eaten up. I mean, not gone up. What am I talking? I'm talking nonsense. Um, yeah, so that's the sort of things that we do. Today I am going to be... Uh, washing the windows <laughs> and I'll be putting up I've got like little I think there's like silicone 
stick-ons for the windows. I'll be putting those up today. So a little bit of window decoration as well. Uh, so that's another plan that I'm going to be doing. Um, so yeah, so I would like to know from you who are watching, maybe you want to tell me what does Christmas, what does Christmas mean to you? Or the period of Christmas is what I'm talking about, as in the, the, the festive time. I know many people don't do Christmas per se, um, and don't like all the commercialization of Christmas, which I understand I don't like it either. I don't like the family pressure um, either because it just gets too much and people end up arguing and just getting stressed out and it's supposed to be the opposite opposite so that's what we do we just decide what we want to eat if we decide on the day we don't want to do that then we don't do it and we just keep everything relaxed and we use the holidays uh, as we can't be doing much work anyway, we just use the holidays as downtime, regrouping things. Also, sometimes just to discuss what's, what, what our future plans for the next year are, um, maybe in our business, maybe uh, personal goals and things like that, how we want to roll out the new year. We use that time basically for talking about things that we normally just talk about maybe in between doing phone calls and our busy lives. So have a real relaxed discussion and have a few reflective moments. That's what we do for Christmas. So I, uh, my mouth is now getting dry and I think I've spoken very long. How have, one more update I have well, if you want to call it an update, which has been going super slow, I hope I'm going to get ready for Christmas with it. it is the Christmas jumper, James's Christmas jumper. It's just taking forever because I can't knit on it every day. I've not had time somehow. The time slipped away, but I have got down, down the sleeve and I think I've got about maybe five more inches to go on this one sleeve. And then I have to start the next one. Well, I haven't done the next one, but you've seen that part already. Um, <laughs> my husband has lost some weight, so it's actually a lot longer than his, his nor. So it's falling down. How should I, not falling down. How should I, it's, it, it seems longer because the bulge is it's not so bulgy. So from that point of view, this is, looks like a jumper that's a lot longer than I normally knit. Um, so that is basically all I have to say. Video wise, I cannot guarantee that I will be making many videos between now and the new year. Uh, as I said, time's running away with me. I'm just thinking Maybe I didn't, I sh should have maybe recorded the marzipan making. And I don't know whether I've recorded the yogurt making. Maybe I should have done that. Um, well, I'm sure I'll be making yogurt again. I can't remember. If you want to see that, please give me a thumbs up and comment below. If you want to see, um, maybe I'll, I'll most probably will be making Mars more marzipan balls because these are nearly gone so between now if you want to see that please thumbs up again and comment below um hair hair videos i am not sure if i'm going to do one i might do one really close to christmas when we do maybe go out on something nice oh on the hair i have one more Look at this. You see this? And I, I come closer. Okay. You see my hair has very short bits in between. And I wanted to show you that it's not broken off. First I thought, oh my goodness, my golly, what's happening here? Have I, have I sort of mistreated my hair and it's, and, and it's just breaking off? No, this is all new hair growth. 
So I'm getting new hair growth, but it's sort of weird because some of it is grey and some of it isn't. So I don't know where this is going. I still have a little bit of a light patch here, but that's sort of coming back. Um, yeah. Uh, so that's the update on the hair. I haven't measured. The last time I measured was 39 inches. I think it might be a little bit more now. But my hair in general doesn't grow that much in the winter anytime. In anytime? Anyway. So I will measure most probably later in the year. Uh, what else have I to say? This is actually a lot longer than I anticipated this video, and I'm sorry if I've been waffling on a little bit. Um, I think that is it for today. Those are all the updates that I can think of. Yes. So, I wish you happy holidays stress-free holidays or as near as stress-free as you can get um, and until next time thinking of you always even though I don't do that many videos I do think about these things and I hope I can post up a few more videos between now and the new year so hope everything goes well for you. Bye-bye.